hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to learn the most important topic of the solidworks that is the design study so what do you mean by design study how it benefits you in the design how it optimizes your design okay and how it will give the fruitful results without uh, doing the multiple iterations right so let's begin with the simple disk okay the uh, the disk i have created okay there's uh, some uh, dimension i have given so to create the design study first uh, go to the this tab and then you can uh, create your uh, new design study under the create new motion study so here you can select now coming to the design study table there are total three parameters okay the major three parameters the first one is the variable where you can add the dimensions where you can select any feature and any parameter which is variable that you can select into the variables then constraint what do you need like mass pro mass properties uh, simulation data those kind of sensors will be there i will explain you in the uh, in the later stage and then the goals the goals is like this uh, similar to the constraint but it will give you the particular goal for your design like if you want this mass xyz mass and you have to achieve this in this design how you will achieve it and which which is the optimal iteration for that okay so for that uh, the goal table is there uh, if you have selected any goal then you should uh, check the optimization table then only you can get the results now coming to the basic variables how can we use the variables okay in a simple method first i will teach you the basics only after that we will move, move to the advanced feature of it that is the simulation linking the design with the simulation okay so for now we will uh, go to the variables and go to the add parameter now here you can add the thickness let me put uh, thickness over here thickness and here in the category there are variable parameter is there first one is a model dimension for now i wish to continue with the model dimension only uh, if you have created the global variable then you can uh, select uh, the global variable simulation data and material data is also there but i will stick to the model dimension for now so let's say this is the uh, thickness and i have selected the thickness okay if you apply or oh, you must select the dimension to link to thickness okay so now you have to select the dimension from here and yeah it is getting selected okay 3.175 which is 3.18 right so this is uh, thickness i have selected now coming to the portion which is the uh, okay uh, which parameter we have to select let's see uh, which will be better um okay hmm okay now we will go to the okay let's the first variable it has been added okay now coming to the second variable where is my uh, let me see the thickness uh, sorry outer diameter and outer diameter is visible into this portion okay and now i will go to the sketch and see okay the outer diameter is there and inner diameter is there now i will add od model dimension and i have to uh, select this dimension okay then id you can select if you want to but i don't want to make uh, multiple iterations so that i will stick to the only uh, two okay apply so as you can see my variable has been added uh, which which is the thickness and od okay so there is there are some uh, minimum maximum and step is there okay so uh, what kind of steps you need for going to from uh, from jumping uh, one dimension to another dimension that is a step and uh, minimum maximum you can do okay uh, so in the thickness i want to do uh, 2.5 and maximum i want to do let's say uh, 3.18 is there so i want to create a 3.8 right so there is you can see total active scenarios are 6 so it will iterate the 6 
uh, iterations and then it it will give the optimum results okay so that is the thing for now step is uh, if i do 1.5 okay uh, jumping from uh, let's say i'm doing 1 mm okay so as you can see total active scenario scenarios will be 9 so i will stick to the 1.5 which will be better for me for total active scenarios uh, okay now moving to the od okay there is also range and discrete values is there that we will we'll study later but i am considering the range with step for now I, even if you go to the range okay then you can uh, select the range okay let me select the range of od od will be my uh, 220 I, I i just want to do a very small uh, scenarios or uh, very less scenarios so that's why i am putting the uh, constrained uh, values for now so 200 minimum and maximum i want to go to the 300 okay so it has the two scenarios let me see the one three scenarios will be there combining okay i don't want to restrict to the three scen scenarios so four let's see okay so range is uh, already done thickness and ode has been done now constraint constraint means if i give the mass okay let me see what is the mass for now okay go to the evaluate and go to the mass properties if you see the mass property uh, the mass is uh, 436 grams okay now coming to the constraint i will add the sensor as a mass properties if you have the simulation data then you can go to the simulation and uh, select the stress strain displacement acceleration thermal properties all the things you can give okay so that is the thing you have to add the sensors this is not the goal remember this is only the constraint okay so in the constraint i will put the mass properties and in the mass i will select the part and i don't want to cross if it is greater than 450 okay or whatever condition you can select from over here and it will give you the alert okay in this case your mass is going up in this case your mass is going very low okay so let's consider a five i don't want to go above 500 500 is my limit okay that is my boundary so i don't want to cross that so first constraint is my mass then if i have a stress value okay if i know the yield strength value of uh, uh, the pro uh, a particular material so what you can do you can just go to the simulation data go to the stress and uh, go to the newton per m square which is a mega pascal and go to the this table and you can add your yield strength value then if it is crossing your strength by simulating so it will uh, show you that you are on high alert warning it will give right so that kind of thing now coming to the goals which scenario will be optimal it will show according to your goal right uh, so let's say i am putting the mass i want uh, 436 okay i don't want to give the alert for now but let's put here okay value okay goal has been added now in the goal there is an option either you want to minimize the mass you want to maximize the mass or you want to close to it okay i want to minimize the mass and uh, uh, in the three scenarios it will give me the minimal mass that i require okay and give me the design so let's calculate for now if i go to the setting and you can uh, change the parameters whatever you want to do okay if you have the 3d experience then you can connect as well and uh, you can make a report a beautiful report uh, accordingly so that is the thing you can go to your go to this tab and uh, change accordingly right so i will give the run okay it is giving the optimization field okay so what is happening there is a uh, iterations happening okay but why it is not happened just because of dimensional constraint it is not happened okay so current is uh, this current is this much mass initial is this much mass optimal and iteration one and iteration two as you can see the mass has been so much increased so it is greater than the 500 kgs 
so you have to give the constraint accordingly i have blindly applied so that uh, the iteration is getting failed so that you have to take care while designing or uh, giving the parameters okay so this is how a uh, design study helps this is just a uh, basic in the next videos i will be coming up with a great example and also uh, give you the proper optimized part so for now i i just want to showcase uh, how it happens and how you can set up the goals how you can uh, apply the constraint so that's how uh, you can move with that and you can uh, change the thickness change the ori and then run again 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 and uh, you can make the report it will give you the excel files okay so as you can see uh, it has been uh, trying the iteration 3 4 5 6 which i have not given but still it is trying but uh, not happening due to constraint of the dimensions also there are multiple uh, features are applied over here which cannot be uh, applied while changing the dimension so yeah uh, so that is a constraint so this is the overall basic idea of the design study i have given uh, so in the upcoming videos i will give you the proper uh, data and proper part also if you have any part to optimize you can just uh, mail me or uh, comment down comment down okay so i will take the part and optimize it over for you and yeah that's that's for you that's all guys uh, for today and thank you so much uh, for watching the video keep learning keep supporting